Well, it's just unbelievable. As I'm sure you've seen tonight, the Olympics that took place in Paris, France, the opening ceremony has finished. And uh, as predicted, it's just absolutely full chock-a-block with the various agendas of the New World Order and the Luciferian religion and all of the propaganda that they're pushing. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show you some of the main themes that you may have missed tonight in this uh, ritual, which is essentially what it was. It was a Luciferian ritual. So, yeah, this is weird. It's um, this metallic transhuman looking horse. This pale horse is coming down on the uh, on the river here, down through Paris. It's like the horse of the apocalypse almost or something, you know, um, going through, down through. Very strange indeed, very strange. Kind of ghostly, actually, like... Uh... I mean, there's a lot of light bearer themes, obviously carrying the flame, the, the torch of the Olympics, uh, but very strange, dark, spiritually dark, as I'm sure you'd agree, spiritually dark, is dark charged stuff in uh, this ceremony. Uh, you just see the, the costumes that are used and the way that people are dressed. And some of it is just quite frankly shocking. Um, but yeah, how, how weird is this? And, and they say this is a, go a goddess figure um, going down through, um, through France. It's very strange. We had a lot of uh, bending and cross-dressing and, and different things like that. Uh, we had the, the lady here with the beard. Uh, I'm not sure if this is Lady Gaga dressed up, but it certainly looks like her. And this scene was just blasphemous, absolutely blasphemous. And I'll show you why this scene was so blasphemous. I don't know if you've seen clips of it. This is going viral online, and I've got some additional insights to show you uh, about what is happening in this dance scene at the Olympics. As you see, it's showing Drag Queen. This scene took place on a boat in, in the Olympics going down the river in, in Paris. But you'll see that there was a particularly blasphemous reference to do with Jesus Christ, which they inverted in this scene. Take a look at this. Uh, and, and yeah, that is disgusting. Um, this, this, this is the Last Supper. She's doing the heart there. Look, I wondered why she was dressed like that with a halo over her head. It's, it's supposed to represent a blasphemy of the last up. You see, they always um, mock Jesus. You know, it's that, always mock Jesus. Why do they mock Jesus if Jesus is not the truth? Why do they tell you not to read the Bible when they constantly reference it and invert it? Why do they do that? And then this whole thing, you get all these people dancing down this table and this this table represents the Last Supper. I think that's Lady Gaga with a beard, I think. So it's a lot of um, bending and um, political motives. All of these drag queens and that, and, and that they're coming down the table of the Last Supper. That's what's going on here. I haven't seen anyone said that yet, but th that is what's going on here. It's a complete blasphemy, an inversion um, of the Last Supper of Jesus Christ and yeah really really blasphemous and sick nothing against other religions in here just Jesus Christ as per usual yeah so it goes it goes a little bit deeper than people have seen so far um, you know you see, I think this is Lady Gaga dressed as with a beard I think I'm not sure but either way you know you got the the bending thing um, but this this is the table of the Last Supper where they've just had the Last Supper uh, blasphemy. And so they're doing all of the changing of God's creation, um, the, the, you know, f free partying, um, all over the top crazy stuff uh, on the table of the Last Supper, um, just after they've done that mockery of it. Um, and so they have this whole Babylonian twisting of it to directly invert Jesus Christ. Now, why would they invert Jesus Christ like this if he was irrelevant, yeah? Uh, they talk a lot about what's relevant. Well, it seems that Jesus Christ is the one that's relevant because they are constantly referring to him and inverting the Bible and uh, creation. So that's, uh, that's what's going on here. Uh, and so you see here that the wings in the background, this is like the tower, but I mean, that's supposed to represent all the nations of the world coming together, all the flags coming together. And then you have, um, you know, you have the, the, the Luciferian wings. 
she, this goddess coming on the waters here, look, she comes through the Luciferian wings, uh, the dove wings, apparently, uh, and this very Pegasus, like a Pegasus, Greek god Pegasus reference, um, and she comes down on this pale horse, like in the book of Revelation, just look up what the pale horse is, death and hell, hell follows it, um, and um, yeah, so very transhuman looking, and she comes together uh, with all the people, uh, the flags of the different nations of the world, one world coming together as one, and you see all of the flags coming together, the nations of the world, with her leading it on the pale horse, and the uh, the Luciferian type wings at the top, lit up now, the, the wings being lit up, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's all the nations coming together to be as one, uh, in a false peace. And of course, you can't have a satanic ritual without a call for world unity in the false peace, in the false peace of Babylon. And this is what this is showing, you see. Um, the, the false peace, the world coming together as one, and they use the John Lennon song, uh, Imagine, after they show all of this new Babylon stuff, the, the bending and the um, warping of society, the warping of creation. And then they show uh, the John Lennon song being sung on the river. We stand and call for peace. And it says, imagine if there was no heaven, no hell beneath us. Imagine if there was no heaven. God is dead, Nietzsche, all of that kind of stuff. So they're pushing against God and the Bible pretty clearly blaspheming and mocking Jesus Christ and then calling for this new change in creation and in society uh, and calling for this false peace, which of course the Bible says that there will be a false peace under the Antichrist, uh, under the this Babylon system that is rising up, this new world, this new age. All the nations of the world coming together, um, being led by her and this this horse reference that's come down over the you know over the waters like a like a ghoul a very spiritual uh, horse uh, reference and just very strange costumes on here you know and what pagan satanic ritual wouldn't be complete without Baal or a golden bull um, sitting there for some reason no actual reference this is behind the choir uh, and you see the again the Olympic circles in the background. Uh, which represents the continents of the world coming together as one. And you've got the gold, what looks like a golden bull, like Baal or a Babylonian god, false god. Um, it's like the, you know, the Israelites worship the, the golden calf in, in the wilderness, this false god in the book of Exodus. And just there, there's no references to why it's there. No one points that out to me, but... Yeah, it's just just this big effigy there of the, the massive bull head uh, in the background behind the orchestra, behind the choir. So, yeah, really weird stuff. Really weird pagan stuff, as per usual. And then we see this guy coming to light the, 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 the light bringer, the, the, the carrying the fire, carrying the torch. And then out of the stage comes this light bearer uh, who's got this very dark costume on, a covered face. Again, very strange, dark stuff, very weird stuff. Why, why does it have to be so dark and pagan and satanic? Uh, but you see him here. You see him uh, with the torch and he's going to give it to him. Um, but yeah, as you can see, just, just a bad vibe. Just doesn't feel good, does it? The whole thing. Uh, in Paris tonight, and and then this big uh, light show which takes place on the Eiffel Tower, which of course is the big uh, monument in France, in Paris, and they had this big spectacular light show, and really this, to me, it just seems like they're representing the Tower of Babel, or you, using this as a representation of the Tower of Babel at the centre of this whole show. Um, so just... I just think they're symbolising the Tower of Babel with this, the world coming together as one. Uh, um, and yeah, it's just so many different agendas taking place. 
And I just can't believe that they had this blasphemy of the Last Supper. Uh, how blatantly obvious they make it that they show that they are blaspheming Jesus Christ directly and the Bible um, just with this blasphemy of the Last Supper and the twisting of society and of creation uh, as part of this rise of this new world, new age, new world order. So the Great Reset, folks, it's coming, what they're showing here. And uh, just be vigilant. I hope this video shows you who and what the truth is by what they invert. Please stay vigilant and see the world around you and what is going on. Let's keep our eyes open. If you want to uh, check out our new Rise store, there is a link in the description below where we sell some new Rise uh, t-shirts and different things if you're interested uh, to be showing people the truth on the t-shirts. Take care. God bless. Thank you.